Hey guys, this is Rails and Racing Productions here, and today I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the Coke Zero Sugar 400 that happened last night at Daytona. Now, I apologize for this being late again. I mean, I was just busy today. I was watching trains in Milano again, and also I had a truck race going on earlier, the truck race in Milwaukee, but it just finished as, as of now that I'm recording. So, yeah, I mean, just I apologize for the delay, but yeah. Here's the race review finally. So, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, just so last night was the final race of the regular season. We found out who made the playoffs, and Chris Busher win, uh, would win for the third time in 2023. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just with, and with Busher's win, this would lock Bubba Wallace into the playoffs for the first time in his career. So, yeah, but. Yeah, I mean, just, I mean, just that there is the playoffs there. Um, yeah, Bubba Wallace is officially in the in the 2023 playoffs. So yeah, and right here is your top five. Um, Busher's uh, Busher's teammate and co-owner Brad, Brad Kozlowski, and then Eric Combo in third, Chase Elliott in fourth, which failed to make the playoffs because he needed to win the night, and then Lugano in fifth. But then behind him you have all the wrecks, which yeah, I mean like. There is one I want to pay attention to, and it's that number 41 back there. Like, this was hands down the worst wreck of the night. It was with five to go. Um, Ryan Priest was running, like, 14th maybe, and then he got turned by Eric Jones, which I believe Jones was trying to push him, but, yeah, it just didn't work bad. And then Priest just spun right into Briscoe. Briscoe got, like, uh, some damage and he ended up out of this which which was unfortunate because he had a great run last night but with priest it's another story like priest like literally caught air as soon as he was spinning out he and then he flipped like 10 or 11 times like i'm being honest when i'm saying this that was hands down one of the worst flips i've ever seen as a nascar fan like i've watched nascar for six years and that is was terrible like priest literally flipped like so many times and he managed to walk away from that which was unbelievable but he was taken to the hospital last night for further checkups and standard tests but but this morning he, it was confirmed that he left the hospital and is heading home like but however we don't know if he's gonna race Darlington I mean I I'm not sure if he should or or if he's in no condition to do it but yeah, I just mean, just so I mean, I'm just glad though that Priest survived that crash because that was hands down one of the worst wrecks I've ever seen as an Oscar fan. I mean, like Ryan Newman was very bad because he got hurt in that, but with Priest, that was just one of the worst flips I've ever seen. Like, I mean, Newman he just got flipped over and then slammed into by Corey LaJoy, but with Priest he just barrel rolled so many times the backstretch and went so high in the air like. Seriously, like, I've never seen something like that. But yeah, I mean, just, I mean, once again, though, I'm just glad that the priest is okay after that terrible wreck. Yeah, I just I mean, just, that was just an awful, awful wreck. So yeah, but I mean, just, but so I mean, but I mean, what was that there? I mean, yeah, I just I mean, just both of them were out of that wreck. But before that wreck happened, we did have a big wreck at the end of stage two. Um, and also for stage one, um, just to clarify, um, Truex won that stage, and yeah, he, he won that stage. So yeah, which speaking of Truex, um, <clears throat> yes, because of what Hamlin was going, uh, what what happened with Hamlin last night, since he was just out of contention after the big wreck, Truex managed to to um get the regular season title and 15 extra playoff points. So that's good for him going to the playoffs since we're starting him this week. So yeah, but back to the wreck here. Um, this happened at the end here, where um, just Blaney was just getting a push here, but then was wrecked uh, by someone. Like it was when like Ty Gibbs got spun out by Bell, you know, after Bell was pushing him, and then just yeah, and then Blaney just got hooked and slammed to the wall very hard. Like I'm being honest, the safer barrier just bounced back and forth. Like that was such a big impact that Blaney took. Like, seriously, that's his second big and biggest impact of the year. Like, first it was Nashville, and now this one last night. 
which yeah, I mean, this wreck collected a bunch of cars. It took in total, it took out sixteen. Like, I know I only have about like six of the drivers, which are Cindric, Blaney, Gibbs, Bell, Stenhouse, and Almendinger. But there were more like Hamlin, Brennan Poole, Kyle Larson. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm Corley Joy. I think was involved. Um, I don't remember. If, yeah, I, that maybe everyone. Oh yeah, Dylan was another driver involved in that. The the winner from last year. But yeah, I mean, just I mean just a big chunk of the field torn up in that one wreck. Just, that was just big right there, and Brad Kozlowski ended up getting the stage victory with my driver, Kyle Busch, in second. But yeah, I just mean, just, overall, just mean, just, yeah, I mean, that was just a massive wreck. I mean, if I left out anyone there, I do apologize, and if I actually said the wreck of how it happened wrong, I apologize because I mainly just remember Priest's flip from last night. So yeah, but overall, I mean, just, this race, though, I would say was a good, a great one. Like, Seriously, like, I, I really like super speedway racing a lot. It can be dangerous, of course, because of what we saw with Priest and of even other accidents, like we've seen the past at super speedways for um, these flips. Like, I mean, just like take Talladega for an example this year, like when Blaine Perkins and Dana Herbick flip, the flip over. And I was mentioning in 2022 when Maya Snyder and Harrison Burton flipped at Daytona. And then, like, and of course, like, the main example, um, Ryan Newman in 2020 at Daytona. Yeah, I mean, just, I mean, just there's, a, like, a lot of examples I can say here, but then we'll just be all, all day talking about them. But, yeah, I just I mean, just, yeah, I mean, like, of course, it can be dangerous at times. Like, you, of course, like, there can be moments where you can get, like, maybe nervous, but, yeah, I mean, just, that's basically what part of Super Speedway Racing, like, I mean, just intense racing here and like we had like so much action at the start of stage two like there was lots of three wide action and passing for the lead that's just the main thing i like about daytona and talladega because then you can just have lots of passing and so much action for the lead that's just one thing i really like about super speedways but yeah um, but i mean that's why i just have to say though for on this race here um so yeah i mean but with bush's win tonight i mean i would think that maybe he could be maybe a maybe a championship fourth threat I mean, I'm just saying, since he's been looking so fast lately with a win at Richmond and Michigan. So, yeah. But, I mean, just, so, yeah. But now with this race over, we are now ready to begin the playoffs. And this week, I will be making my playoff prediction. I'm still just saying of how I'm going to make it, either in diecast or a different way. But, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, just, but just, that, though, is what I have planned there. So, yeah. So, I mean, just the playoff prediction video will be hopefully out tomorrow or Tuesday but yeah I just I mean just just depends on how I'm gonna be uploading videos this week so yeah <clears throat> but just so we expect that either tomorrow or hopefully later this week but I will get it done before Darlington so yeah and for other videos this week um of course I actually will be uploading a video of all the trains I caught in Milano today I actually got 10 seven BNSFs and three unit Pacifics. So expect that hopefully maybe later tonight. I don't know. I mean just um I maybe that might be out tomorrow since how long the video will be. And yeah, and also another thing I'm Amtrak uh, 161 will be coming on the Texas Eagle tonight. I will be catching it tonight and hopefully tomorrow too, but it just depends on what I, uh, what happens tomorrow. So yeah. But I mean we'll just see how that will go there, so yeah, I mean, just, but, yeah, so, I mean, I will be catching 161 later today, though, so, yeah, so, stay tuned for that and the Milano video and the playoff prediction video, so, yeah, so, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.